What up, what up, y'all? Had a few minutes to be able to hop on here, so my first time doing it live. Yo, 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 what up, bro? What's up, bro? I got a, I got a few minutes. I, I decided to do a live right away. What's up? My first time even doing a live. What up? What up, guys? Whoa! I got three, three people on here. What's up? You in CDL school right now, bro? That's what's up, bro. How far are you in? You trying to you trying to log on here with me or what? Could I add you? I don't know. I don't know how you, I don't know how you work with this. What's going on, Chasman? What's up, bro? Joa, what up, brother? It's my first time doing it live, guys. So I'm I'm excited to chat up chat with you guys. Got your test next month. Hell yeah, bro. That's what's up. I think it's easier, bro, if I do a live because making a video and shit, I think it's just harder. I think it just, I want to answer everyone's questions because I, I be getting a lot of comments on my video, but I just, I've been super busy that I can't even answer them all, but yeah, what's up, bro? What's up? That's your fourth. Oh, bro, you're almost... You almost out of school now. You're about to get that CDL. Whatever you decide to do, Joel, over the road, local, whatever it is, bro, do it up. The youngin, do it up, bro. Um, I feel you. I where I work at right now, there's a um, there's a few drivers who are um, who transfer from the warehouse to transportation. So I feel you. I like driving because you're out on the road all day, you know, you're outside, you're like, you're in the city, you're driving around. So I think that's, I think that's cool. I was just studying for my permit. That's tight, bro. That's tight. Shit, I remember, uh, I think it's easier now to get your license. I remember this was probably like 10 years ago. I was uh, like, I had just turned 18. I was probably 11 years ago. Shit. Um... It was harder back then because now I you can download the, the manual on your on your phone. I still don't have my driver's license. Any tips on getting my license? The youngin, hey bro, do you got your your license? Like um how do, and still don't have my driver's license. Uh the youngin, you have to study, bro. Study uh you have to study the, the manual. If you mean if you want to get your driver's license, you just have to go to the, uh, to your local DMV and ask them to give you uh, the the manual. If they don't have the, the the manual, you could just download it from Google, look it up online. Also, watch YouTube videos. You could watch YouTube videos, and uh, it's it, they're they'll pretty much they they'll read you the. I mean, there's videos where they talk about the questions that's that are on the on the driving test. Yes. Yes, but in order to get your CDL, you have to have your driver's license. But to get your your uh, your CDL, you have to go to the DMV and take the the written test. So you, you could you can do it at the same place. <laughs> I, I feel you, bro. You spent twenty bucks printing that manual. I feel you. I have a printer here at the house, and uh, I remember when. When I was trying to get the CDL manual and they didn't have it at the DMV, I uh, I printed the manual right here in my printer and uh, shit, dude, that should take forever because it was a bunch of pages just printing. <laughs> but I got it and I studied it, so I mean, I should still have it here somewhere, but yeah, it's, it's in here somewhere. Family's doing good, bro. Family's doing good. Yeah, we're we're at the new place already trying to get settled in and stuff like that, but... Yep, CDL prep. CDL prep is good. Yeah, bro, it's, that's good to hear. That's good to hear. Like I said, if you guys get your CDL, you guys ain't gonna regret it, bro. I think it's fun. Um, 
yeah, you're gonna have to put that work in at first, but what you know, like time goes by quick, you know, it just it, time will fly by. You, you'll have your experience, and once you have your year experience, two years, I mean, you'll be able to get anywhere, you know what I mean? Anywhere. Um, I want to do over the road, do I like I would like to do over the road, honestly. Like I said, I on my videos, um, I, I didn't want people to think that I have anything against over the road because I don't have nothing against over the road. I would like to do it myself, but I'm not trying to leave uh, my wife at the house by herself right now. You will, bro. You will pass your test. As long as you study, you do everything right, you do all the practice tests. Um, I think you're the one who commented that there's test on Google, practice test. Yes, I, I, I did those too. I did those practice tests on Google too. Uh, I don't know. I, I forget what the website's called, but... I would go on there and I would just practice. I would do all those practice tests. Cause uh, I have my, um, I used to have my hazmat endorsement. I used to have my hazmat endorsement, but cause I, I wanted to drive a, like a fuel, I wanted to deliver fuel like um, at the gas stations, but I didn't end up getting my hazmat. It's all good though, I didn't need it. But yeah guys, you definitely won't regret having your license. Don't let people talk you down from it. Cause I know there's a I had the, I had this comment on one of my videos where this guy was saying that I'm promoting trucking to an oversaturated market or whatever it is, but no. That's not true. There's always gonna be jobs in trucking. That guy's probably just mad because there's uh he's probably like an owner operator and I can't find no good loads, which I don't blame him, but I'm not saying become an owner operator, you become a a company driver. CDL prep. It has practice test. Yep. I think I heard of that one too. Yeah, guys, you guys should definitely get it. We could all succeed in <clears throat> we could all succeed in this trucking thing. Don't never let no guys talk you down from it. I'll probably record a video tomorrow at work. Show you guys what I do. I deliver to uh, Starbucks, 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 Starbucks. That's cool, guys. I had uh, five people here at one point. That's fucking, that's nice. Makes me happy. I'm glad I'm connecting with you guys. Yep, CDL prep is good. I passed my permit test like two months ago with that app. Pass it on the first time. That's good to hear, Joao. That's good to hear, bro. What type of company do you work for? For um, the company's called QCD, Quality Custom Distribution. We deliver to Starbucks, to uh, um, Chick Fil A, and to Chipotle. Those three things, those three places. How many times did it take you to pass your test? A bunch of times, but it depends what what test you mean. Because I I would uh when I first got my permit I didn't I didn't study at all I would just go to the DMV and just take the the written test until eventually I ended up passing it. But study study study. I recommend everyone to study. I failed my test a lot of times, signs, a lot of times, but I eventually ended up getting it. So that's a good thing. Cause I was determined. I wanted to have my license. I knew I was like, I want to get my CDL. Let's get it. I was tired of working at the construction companies and being uh, looked down upon. Like they would tell me, yo, uh, to my three viewers who are watching, I'm gonna tell you guys a quick funny story. I was working construction and um, I got into this construction company and at, at the time I thought it was a cool company and they told me, yeah, go go to Home Depot or Lowe's and buy yourself like a, a harness or whatever they're called, where you, like where you can hang your tools from your hammer and stuff. I thought I was going to be like a sick ass carpenter and uh, I never used it once. 
and I bought some expensive tools too. I went and, I, I went and bought like Klein, Klein tools. They told me, oh, go buy some tools because you're going to need it to cut some wires. I think they were like $50 each and I never used them once. Your driving test, how'd it go? It went good, bro. Um, I remember, uh, so when I first got my license, I had my class A permit and um, I was, I applied at a garbage company because my friend told me that they would hire me with the, with the permit. And I applied and they took me and uh, I would drive, I would drive, um, I would go on routes with a, like a lead driver. And that lead driver, he would um, let me drive obviously. And that's how I just got my training. I got my training like that. And after three months, I, um, he, he told the supervisor, hey, he's good to go. Like he, he could go on to take the, the test. So uh, back then at that garbage company and the, sc the school used to be right across the street from uh, where, where the garbage company used to be at. So we drove right across the street, did my pre-trip, passed it, and then it went on the road test and passed it also. But it was a garbage truck, so that, that job, the, that was pretty easy to do. So my bird. Yeah, bro, 50 bucks. And there were some uh, expensive tools. And you know, the, the, the messed up part was, um, they stole them. I had my, I had my, uh, my tool belt in the, in the work truck. And uh, next thing you know, my, my, uh, my, my, my wire cutters were missing. Brand new, never even used once. And uh, I had to be somebody that in our crew that stole, stole them, but I ended up stealing somebody else's, but it wasn't the same as mine. But I had to get some. I had to get them back, you know. But never again. I, after that, I said, "Nope, I'm done with construction. I'm out of here." Because the supervisors would be like, "Hey, go grab a broom and go sweep the street. Go, you know, sweep the the dirt, all the mud off the street." I'm like, "Come on now, this is not what I want to do." Why did you quit the construction job? Because the supervisor, he was a he was an asshole. He would uh he would he would not respect us. He would be like he would he would kind of like be super disrespectful to us to the to the to the new guys, right? He would uh, be very disrespectful, call us names, and uh, I told him, "Don't disrespect me. We're all grown men here. We're all if you treat me with respect, and I'll treat you with respect also." His name is Mango, Mango. My wife named him Mango. And we didn't even want a bird. We uh, we actually ended up going to Petco and to buy some dog food and we seen him there and he looked like he was having a rough life there. So we had a, we ended up buying him. Expensive too, They're like it was like $600 for this bird. And when did you notice your life change with the CDL? When did I notice my life change with the CDL? When I was working with, um, I noticed that my life changed when I was working at the garbage company, guys, because garbage, I, I recommend people to work at the garbage company, say if you, if you don't mind doing the hard work, because Christmas time, you can give out your Christmas cards and they'll send the customers, which is like, you know, people that, like will send me Christmas cards and money. So I would be giving, getting a lot of money for Christmas time in the mail. I would get checks, I would get cash in the mail, a bunch of a bunch of gift cards to Starbucks, to McDonald's, King Supers, everything. So I was able to save up some good some good money those those five years I was working at the garbage company. I was so in one month from November, I would hand out my Christmas cards in November after Thanksgiving. From November to to Christmas, I would save up around twelve thousand just in that month, and I did that for five years. Yes, that is nice. Thank you, crypto. This is Mango. How much did I make in Christmas? A lot. Well, it depends. I was making um, 
anywhere from ten to twelve thousand in tips, just tips from Christmas, Christmas times. My parrot, I honestly don't even know how old he is. I don't even think he's a year old. He's a good he's a good parrot. From the tips. Yes, signs, yes, from tips. That's how much I was able to make from tips, yep. And in the summertime, the summertime, you know, I would also make good money because uh people people would tell me, hey, how much would you charge to, to take this couch, to take this um mattress and stuff like that. So in a good a good week in the summertime, you were making a, at least two hundred dollars tips minimum a week. Crazy, my dad's my dad was a trucker. My mom drove a garbage truck in New Jersey. That's tight, bro. Shout out to New Jersey. I was um my wife and I were in New Jersey not too uh well no, this was back in COVID, probably like two, three years ago. We went up to uh Belmar, Belmar, New Jersey, because we wanna that BMW that I have on that thumbnail, that's where we got it from. We bought we got it from uh we got it at um New Jersey. Uh, freehold freehold i don't know if you know where that at where that's at chasmin but we were up in uh, freehold new jersey a few years ago it's nice bro i like i like new jersey oh i like belmar new jersey i've never been a visitor to other areas of new jersey but it was nice out there what time is it for you what time is it for me Almost bedtime. <laughs> Mango is a sick name. Yeah, it is. Thank you. Appreciate it. My wife named him Mango. Well, damn, guys. I've been on here almost 20 minutes and I have eight. No, for real, what time? Where I'm at here in Denver, it is 11, 11.02 p.m. Where are you at? Where are you from, random kid? California, maybe? It's 1 a.m. here. No, random kid, no, you do not have to tell. It was just a question. Yeah, yeah, Joel, yeah, I'm in Colorado, bro. Denver. Jasmine, what's one AM there? That's pretty late already, bro. California, hell yeah, it must be nice out there, bro. I wanna to go to California. Probably make a trip over there soon. Alright guys, well I'm gonna wrap it up now for now. I just uh, wanted to hop on live to chat with you guys. I appreciate you guys for uh, hopping hopping on with me. I really appreciate it. If you guys have any questions, let me know. I'll I'll be I'll be getting going live soon. Shout out to you, Joel. Shout out to you, Chasmin. Shout out to the random kid, to Signs, to uh, I don't know who else was on here. To Crypto Plays. Shout out to you guys. I appreciate you guys being here with me tonight. Appreciate the support. I got more videos coming for you guys. Yes, California does have a bunch of traffic. Are you in LA? LA to be exact. We got a lot of traffic out here too in Colorado, but not not too much. But yeah, it's a lot of traffic. Yo, what's the fastest way to get a local CDL job? I'm currently delivering for FedEx. So the Jordizi, hey bro. So um, 
if you're looking for a local CDL job, ask FedEx. If you don't have your uh, license, ask FedEx if they'll get you your CDL. Because if you work for FedEx already, you can probably transition to their CDL position. I would probably ask management or your supervisor, tell me they'll, they'll help you get your CDL. Because you already work there, you already know how you do the job. So the, that's the faster way to get a local CDL job. Since you're already working at FedEx and they do local deliveries, ask your supervisor if they'll help you get your CDL. And if they don't want to help you, ask them if you get your CDL, if you can get hired by them to do CDL. If you if they can if you can get hired to be a CDL driver for them. But all right, guys, I'm gonna I'm gonna end this live right here. It was nice talking to you guys. I'll see you guys on the next video. Peace, y'all. How do you end this? Oh, yep.